Namaste, everybody. I'm Shriya Rakal. You can call me Sal. Uh, one fun fact about me is I love collecting stuffed animals and I give them Sanskrit names. Uh, before I begin with my presentation, I would like to thank NASO for this opportunity and uh, I'm really grateful to be one of the nominees for NASO's Women in Science Award. All right, a little background about me. Um, I grew up in Kathmandu and I got my engineering in information technology from Nepal College of Information Technology. Currently, I'm pursuing a PhD in computer science at North Carolina State University. My professional interest lies in natural language processing research and development. I'm also interested in internationalization and localization of technology and services. After college, I worked with Nepali NLP group as NLP research and development engineer. There I got to work on the development of linguistic tools and resources for Nepali. I was also one of the core members and a technical blogger for, for the group. Um, the past summer, I worked as a machine learning intern in City International at Apple, and I'm going to be joining the same team uh, for the next summer of 2021. Currently, I'm a PhD student in um, argumentation lab at NC State University, where I'm working on argumentation mining from um, scientific publications. Apart from being a PhD student, I'm also a proud advocate of diversity and inclusion in technology, which is why I'm involved with organizations that uh, support women and minorities in technology. I am the founder and a co-advisor for Nepali Women in Computing, which is one of Anita B. Org's sisters communities uh, that works towards supporting Nepali women technologists in their um, career in tech. And I represent Nepali Women in Computing at anitab.org as one of sisters community leaders. I'm also a I'm Remarkable Facilitator, which is an initiative by Google um, to empower women and other underrepresented groups to uh, celebrate their achievements. My interests in internationalization and localization got me interested in this particular group called Women in Localization. Uh, currently, I'm a member of Women in Localization, but this is one role I'm still uh, trying to understand and navigate. Um, Previously, I was also involved with uh, women in computer science at NC State as their graduate relations chair and Lean-In Circle coordinator. I'm really grateful to have had um, gotten this opportunity where I could give back to my communities uh, in terms of both uh, language processing and Nepali women in computing. These are some of the contributions that I'm particularly proud of. In the long run, I see myself working in the research and development of linguistic tools for Nepali. Not only Nepali is my native language, but it is also the only language my mother communicates in. And I wanna make sure uh, that all these cool latest technologies, uh, she can use them. She can use them without uh, language being a barrier for her. I understand the importance of having the right resource and support to flourish in any career. I was lucky to have my parents and friends who invested their times and resources to help me advance in my career. However, growing up in the capital, Kathmandu, I have seen all kinds of people, people who can and have the resource to pursue their dreams and also people who can but don't have the resource or inspirations to advance in their careers. With our amazing team at Nepali Women in Computing, we are working towards becoming a global resource that Nepali women technologists can use to advance in their careers in tech. Uh, in the long run, we want to bring more Nepali women in tech and we want to help them sustain uh, in this field. Uh, with that being said, uh, to everybody who's been uh, a part of my journey, who's helped me uh, become the person I am today, um, thank you. You are a part of my story and my experience, and I'm very grateful uh, to have had that support um, 
in growing in this field. Thank you. Last but not least, thank you, Naso, for this opportunity. Uh, I am really grateful to be one of the nominees for Naso's Women in Science Award. Naso's Women in Science Award would give me and Nepali women in computing an opportunity to reach out to a wider group of people. It would also help amplify our voices, make people aware of what we're doing at Nepali Women in Computing and how they can use our community to advance in their careers in technology. Thank you.